Hey guys, it's me, Tim here, back with another custom Lego Ninjago set review. And this is obviously a really big one. And I want to say it's almost our last one, nearly. But, um, yeah, so as you can see, it's two dragons this time. And it's got one of the shrines back here. And so yeah, let's get to the figures. First up, we got one of the generic shark dudes, you know. Once again, army building is pretty simple with the, pretty much a lot easier with this wave. And so, yeah, once again, uh, if you need to know what these parts are from, it's just from Atlantis, the Atlantis theme, a lot of them are. And then for our next baddie, this is probably, this is a cool one. Um, this is probably gonna be like one, the main villain, I guess. I don't know, I haven't really made like a main, main villain. Uh, you can see his Corvus Glaive's he head. He's got like an old castle torso. Come on, focus on this. I don't want to use the... I don't, don't want to tap the screen and make it focus purposefully because I think that's what breaks it usually. Uh, he's got the Darth Maul legs from the Mandalorian speeder set. So yeah, looks really cool with those. And his weapons are these brown uh, nunchuck handles. And then with this sword from one of the, I think it's, it was like the Praetorian Battle Pack. And then this one, uh, just the machete piece. And he's got Vicarol's helmet. So yeah, and then for Zane, he's the one that gets his shrine in this set. And uh, he's also got gets, gets a dragon in this set. And once again, dragons are protectors of the shrine, so yeah, that's why... So this Zane, actually, I'll get my battle damage Zane over here. You can see he's a very, he's very similar to his battle damage version. And yeah, obviously that was on purpose. But you can see he's got two silver arms, two dark as your, or like aqua as your, I don't know, hands. He's got two golden, uh, mm, shoot, shurikens, yeah. And then he's got the Sons of Garmadon leg, torso, and mask. And his head is just the old titanium Zane head, you know, with the blue side on one side. And then on the other side, he's got the smiling face. And then his armor piece is silver, and his sword is silver. So yeah, and then for Cole, I think I've showed him off in another video, but I'll do it again. He's got what looks to be like a gray version of his, of his weapon. I don't know, I just chose to do that and whatnot. And then here we got the hands are dark brown, arms are dark bluish gray. His legs, I changed them out since the last one. These are the Day of the Departed legs. I got the, I got the Day of the Departed figure recently. His torso is his possession torso, and his armor is in gold because I wanted Zane to have silver armor because it looks better on Zane, and I chose to give gold gold armor coal gold armor instead. His mask is from the movie, the Ninjago movie, and then his head is from Dave the Departed or Hands of Time or um what was the other one? Those two. So, yeah, you can see that. That's cool. And yeah, I was going to use the gold sword holder thing and whatnot. Um, I did not get a thumbnail. I should probably get a thumbnail. So, yeah, let's get on to the small shrine build. Here it is. Um, obviously, it's like a wall. It's blank on the back. It's got just a couple of greeblies and whatnot. It uses a lot of these stone bricks. And it looks really cool in the front. See there's the top and you can see there's a hinge. Obviously you know what a hinge does, it hinges it open. And here's Zane's weapon. Zane's weapon is pretty unique because yeah initially it was a lot like Nia's and I wanted to differentiate them. Dang it, it is not wanting to come out. And so I just added this scythe piece on the bottom. And yeah it looks pretty cool. Looks really cool. I don't know, you could hold it like this or like this. I mean, this is where the elemental potential is really held, is in the crystal. 
And I think the crystal would probably be a, like, a frosted white. A frosted trans clear. So yeah, here it's just blue. Because that's the closest to trans clear I got. And yeah. So that looks really cool. And then you can just put it on this clip. And then you can seal it up. It just hinges closed. It's like frozen in ice. So yeah, let's get on to the first dragon. I'm going to do Zane's dragon first. This is, the, I think, like, yeah, this was the last dragon I built. And obviously it's pretty bare bones, especially, like, here. But, so, you can see it uses a lot of these, like, airplane bodies to make up the shape. It's got a very short tail because a lot of the parts are being used elsewhere. And it's also breakable. I forgot that I did that. You can, it's ratchet joint there. And then it does have these ball joints, but it seems that they're pretty tight. Shoot. I didn't think that they were that tight, that they literally couldn't turn there. Yeah, this is not very convenient. This should probably not be on a ratchet joint. But you can see it's got a very skinny shape. It's more of a wyvern, I guess because it doesn't have wings, and that was quite intentional. And you can see its feet there. I just used the feet from the Boga, or no, the Varactyl set from the very first General Grievous's wheel bike. So yeah, and then once again, legs, they use a lot of the, since this is the very last dragon I made, they use a whole lot of these just like very weak joints and whatnot. You know, the, the back legs are, aren't even posable. It's just the feet that are. And the feet are even, like, looking very funky-wonky. But the front legs are poseable. You can pull them back, forward, outwards a whole lot. And then the feet are also poseable. Once again, they're very poseable. And actually, I used some trans blue ones here from the Lightning Mech. I already took that apart, unfortunately. I did not want to, but I did. So, for the saddle, it's, it's actually white. I like the idea. Also, you can see a tooth piece there. But yeah, you can get you can put Zane in the saddle. Give him his golden weapon too, but I'll just give him his nunchucks. And yeah, he looks pretty fitting there. You can see the neck is actually just one joint this time. And it's got like a blue spike here. It's got gold rings on either side. And it's on a ratchet joint just like all the others. And it's got a normal ball joint for the head connection. And the head is a re this is one of my better heads, much, much better. You can see the shaping is amazing. And it's even got like a good front face, a front look. Like, look at that. It's got a nose. It's even got like this little beard thing. And, you know, you can open up the mouth. It's got this two side teeth. I just really like it. And the eyes I did very good on. I would have liked those maybe in like a uh, translite blue instead. But tr silver works because, you know, he's Titanium Ninja. And yeah, the mouth does have a bit of a wide angle opening, but yeah, it looks cool with that little carport. I think this would be the new like single piece where it's just connected in the center. And yeah, the head does go through like, it's kind of, it's three wide, I believe. No, it's two wide and it goes to be three wide and it goes back to two wide and then one wide. And yeah, it looks really cool. I really like these from the Starkiller base set that fight on Starkiller base. And yeah, they look pretty cool for like ears or horns or whatever. You can move it up, down, you know. And yeah, it just looks really cool. And these are just, yeah, I like how this is framed. This is probably, I would like this in dark blue, not light blue, just normal dark blue. And yeah, a lot of these parts I think should probably be in dark blue, but normal blue works too, a lot. So you can pick it up here. And it's wyverns, you know, they can just fly on their own. They don't need wings. And you can probably see that there. I was gonna do wing mechanism, but after like building the body, I noticed it looked better with this being the front and I didn't wanna have to completely remake it. And yeah, but yeah, this, this is a pretty cool dragon. And then now we have the second dragon, which is Cole's. And this one was the second one I made. And this is a beast. Look at this. It also, it does have wings actually. You'll see them in a sec. I'll start the tail. So this tail is actually really cool. It uses the last of my like super loose joints that I use for knee a lot. And it doesn't, you know, all these are rough ball joints. 
but if you swing it hard enough that they do swing side to side and i really like the way that I capped it off with this little like leaf piece it's also on a ball joint so yeah it's very poseable and it looks pretty cool it looks very cool and it's just fun to swing around um, the feet, they are also very bare bones. Actually, I did not add the feet until like much, much later. And that's just because I had very little joints. This one is very broken, so I won't show off that one. This one is more new. So you can see they go outwards very well, but they don't have too much forward and no backwards actually, but they don't have very much forwards unless you angle them outwards. But you can see the body, it's very like chunky. I really like this look like look at that body like it's just huge let me get Cole like like here I'm putting him up against it he's touching it and yeah this should be covered I would have that covered and I don't know why it isn't you can throw Cole up onto the saddle which is brown and yeah he's like the dragon looks really cool so you can see this see these little like wing pieces these are the wings and it's a lot like how his original dragon, um, Rocky, I believe was its name, I don't know. Um, it just has these for the wings. And I think that one also had just these parts for the wings. And see so, yeah, how you can fold them in or just fold them out and you can have it fly. And it doesn't have a big wingspan, but that's what I like about it. It looks really cool. Yeah, okay, you can see the body now. Um, once again, this is a really cool part. It has orange. It's got a lot of brown, black, and orange and gray. And yeah, you can see that. You like I like that pattern I made there. Um, it's got white in the back, and it goes to si like super slim, with actually like uh, curved parts there. It's got these rock pieces here and here. And yeah, you can see it's got flags. I would want it to be one or the other, not just both styles of flags. I kind of might like I like this one a lot more. This one looks a lot cooler. You can see it says Cole, and it has like his symbol. This was from that very small dragon set from season six. And then this is from uh, Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitzu. That's from his motorcycle. But you can see his saddle here. Um, it's got like one of those, yeah, the neck here, it has like one of these little like car hood pieces. I really like that use. And it's got some clips on the side here. Like you can sit, you can stick his weapon here on hanging up there if you wanted to, or you could stick it on the side of here. It has a it's it's kind of free for like uh you know your desires it's hollow down there you can see straight through there but yeah you can see the saddle there it's nice i wanted that in silver a lot of these saddles i like to be in silver you can see i actually used like the walker legs for this leg and that's really good for like the toughness like you know it's not gonna move on it's not gonna fall out on you neither of the legs will this is two toes back here that are super simple. This has three toes and actually has like uh, ankles as well. You can see actually those should be capped off. I meant to cap those off, but yeah, you can see it's got these sand green toes. It's got a lot of sand green too. I like that too. The neck, I just actually finished the neck. The neck is the very last thing I worked on. So you can see it's super flat on the bottom. I'd like that to be curved off somehow, but I couldn't, I wasn't, didn't really want to bother, but it looks also a lot like his first dragon. With like the spikes on this side and I really like that shaping that I made I just use like these parts right here I don't know if you can see them but yeah and you can see it's just got five spikes and then for the head I also really like this head uh, he's got just a green stud for an eye and um, maybe these would be either mixed because it looks kind of neat but or I use just sand green got once again those that I used on the fire dragon a lot and you can see I actually use these samurai swords from the Stone Army Warriors for the horns. And yeah, you can turn it sideways. Um, this is very like, very like deep. I don't know how to describe it. Like on the bottom, obviously you can see it's three wide. But then at one point around here, it goes like two wide. And it uses the paneling pieces. I want to take it apart. I need to show you this because... And like, I'm really mad that it didn't work out because it, does, like, you can't probably tell too well, but it is not flush. Can you see those little cracks there? They're pushed in all the way, and that's because there's just a small bit of math that does not work out for this, unfortunately. And I'm really upset about that. Like, I was really hoping it would work out, 
but it doesn't. Let's see. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can do this. Oh, this is a great way of showing you, I think. Come on. Come on. There we are. You can see that there. I use the paneling pieces for this. So yeah, this is whenever it's still three wide. And here it goes two wide. And I just use the normal like side weight um, snot bricks. And it turns out that mask did not work out like I thought it would. I thought it would work out to where I could like be able to make it completely flat. But it isn't. You can see the mouth here. It uses one of these again on the chin. It's got two teeth on the bottom. Three teeth on the top. Unfortunately that's there because I've once again used sideways bricks and whatnot. Uh oh. You're not supposed to come off. Uh, the little like tooth pieces I got there. Those are not very useful with this neck. You can see that's like a tongue I guess. But all, all of my dragons I think I fit in like red for the mouth. And yeah you can get a better view of the underside there. This looks really cool. And then for the front it's got that cool I got that from the Black Panther cheapest set. Yeah, you can see the head shape there again. You can see the nose. I like how I got the nose working. And yeah, it's like, this is just a really cool dragon. Both of them are. And this would be a really cool set. I can see it like going for 90 to 100. And obviously you'd think with a season focus towards Nia, she'd have the cheap, most expensive set. But I kind of like thought this would be a cool just single set. Because I've already accidentally pushed Cole Shrine and the Jay's Lightning Mech. So I thought, why not just like, instead of just reusing that same build, being like, oh, this would, should be in here. I just throw Cole's dragon in here with Zane. So he's like going on the journey with Zane to discover his weapon. And once again, it has cool figures, army building. Like this dude, I'm going big. And that's mainly because I didn't make enough like I, unique villains. And then you got what might be the big bad dude. And yeah, like it's just like Cole's dragon and the Zane's dragon are very unique. Like, they have a lot of similarities, but they don't. Like, this one's just huge, rocky, and chunky. And this one's nice and slim and no wings. And, like, this one, it just has a whole lot of more, like, ferocity to it. I just love that shaping. Look at it. I love this tripod, too. I gotta mention that. Like, this tripod has been a lifesaver. I mean, I'm sure y'all love it, too. Because, like, it's not all. Mm, hey, guys. It's me, Tam, here. And I got this. But, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of rambling on. I gotta, I gotta end this review sometime. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.